French judge has ordered former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega jailed. His lawyers said they'll appeal. Yves Le Berquier. Of course we are going to appeal this decision. We will also put in a request for his release, which will be examined by the tribunal. By the letter of the law, we think that this decision has no basis. And this justifies the appeal we will carry out. Noriega had flown to France after he was extradited from the U.S. He was seen here at the airport in Miami before boarding the plane. His lawyers have noted the 72-year-old is ailing and weak. Once across the Atlantic, Noriega was taken to the main courthouse in Paris to face money laundering charges. He appeared there before prosecutors behind closed doors and later saw a judge. He argued to return to his homeland, lawyer Olivier Metzner. To demonstrate that his place is not in France, that this man must go back to his country, Panama, which, by the way, is also asking for him. But the judge turned his back on Noriega's plea that he had prisoner of war status. He said the former strongman posed a flight risk if he was freed and ordered him jailed at La Santé prison pending further judicial action. Noriega spoke little during the hearing and appeared tired. He periodically rested his head in one hand during the proceeding. Noriega had seized power in Panama in 1981, but he was overthrown when U.S. troops invaded at the end of the decade. He was brought to the U.S., where he was tried and sentenced to prison for drug racketeering and money laundering. Now the decision's been made about the venue for his next courtroom fight, and he could face another 10 years in prison if convicted. Authorities want to prosecute him on charges he laundered $7 million in drug profits through French banks and bought luxury apartments with his wife in Paris. A Justice Ministry official said he could face a new trial within two months. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.